Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing kudus. There are two living kudu species, the lesser kudu and the greater kudu. As the names imply, the greater kudu is larger than the lesser kudu, and is, in fact, one of the largest antelopes alive today. Greater kudus stand 4 to 5 feet tall at the shoulder, and weigh anywhere from 300 to 700 pounds. The males are larger than the females. The smaller, lesser kudu stands about 3 to 4 feet at the shoulders, and weighs 150 to over 200 pounds on average. Aside from size, lesser kudus do not have the throat mane present in some greater kudu individuals, and they have more stripes than their greater counterparts. Both kudu species are part of the spiral horned antelope genus. We've previously discussed the bongo, which is also part of this group, and, like all its members, these antelopes have vertical white stripes running down their sides. These stripes help break up the mammal's outline in vegetation, so they considerably help with camouflage. If a kudu hears or smells an approaching predator, before fleeing, it will stand completely still, making it almost impossible to spot in its densely vegetated habitat. Kudus live in Africa. Both species can be found in southern parts of the continent, but greater kudus also range further north with eastern Africa. Here, these animals have largely been driven from their lowland home and survive in fragmented populations at higher elevations, where humans don't inhabit. Still, kudus are generally nocturnal animals, and it's not unheard of for these antelope to live within close proximity of human dwellings, but avoid detection. They're shy and elusive. Predators to kudus include wild dogs, leopards, lions, hyenas, and more. Upwards of 50% of kudu babies don't make it to their first birthday, but those that do learn to avoid predators by jumping six feet or more in the air and hiding in thickets. These antelopes depend on plants not just for camouflage, but also food and water. Kudus eat leaves, fruits, and other herbaceous material. Most of their water comes from this, but during the dry season, they stick close to forest rivers so they have an easy source of water. Outside of the dry season, they may venture further from water sources, but they're always found in areas with cover. Female kudus are often seen in small herds of a few other females sometimes relatives, and their offspring. Male kudus can form bachelor groups, but the older they are, the more solitary they tend to be. The adults don't typically join each other outside of the breeding season. Male kudus have impressive, spiraling horns that can reach more than three feet long in greater kudus, and about two feet long in lesser kudus. These develop over time, and by the time the males reach about five years of age, they're large enough to push their weight around. Kudus are considered quite gentle in their matches. Males often settle disputes without even touching each other. They simply stand near each other and decide who is bigger. When they do lock horns, it's most often over breeding rights to a group of females. It's unusual for injuries to occur during these matches. However, there have been reports of males getting their horns stuck together in a fatal embrace. A female kudu gestates about six to eight months, with greater kudus taking a bit longer than lesser kudus. When it's time to give birth, the female separates from her herd and keeps her baby hidden in a thicket for about a month, before it even meets the rest of the group. It takes about six months for a kudu to become fully independent, but the babies stay with their mother's herd until about one to two years of age. By this point, males have started growing noticeable horns, and they leave to find their own bachelor groups instead. Kudus that survive their first year often live to 8 to 10 years in the wild, though females may live longer than males. These antelopes can more than double this age in captivity. Something else worth noting about the kudu is that it has a loud, barking call. For more facts on kudus, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiegel93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching. Animal Fact Files.